Hey Matt, you want to do some what up, blockheads? What's up, heads? <laughs> We're doing an install today of some flesh mount gauges. No. Right, yeah. Okay. If you guys can see those, some uh, flesh mount fuel cap and gauge, black flesh mount fuel cap and gauge. All right, so this is everything that comes with it. You got the uh, flush mount fuel gauge, you've got the flush mount gas cap, and you've got the ring that goes around the gas cap, and you've got a plug harness. Cool. Oh, you're gonna have to do some magic, bro, because this is like some triple OG gangster. Well, you're gonna have to get to this here. And this plug. And then you're gonna have to disconnect the plug. So, you just plug it, unplug it from the back. Here. These three wires. Black, yellow, orange. Okay, boom. Oh, you gotta deep in. You gotta deep in these wires. Back through here. Hi, Viz. <laughs> okay, so there's this little like little doodad here, right? You gotta fold it down, boom. You gotta deep pin the harness. I mean, you could you could cut cut it, twist the gauge, and pull it out. Ready? One, two, three, boom. Okay, twist left, okay, counterclockwise. Twist. You're gonna pull it up. It's gonna be connected to some wiring. You're gonna see that? pull that wiring straight out. That's connected right there. Let's see this? Nice. See that? Down inside here, there's like a little gap. Go in there and you push down and you pull the wires out one at a time. I mean, you'll just, you just gotta feel it out. It takes a little time, don't get frustrated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in there and depress uh, the clip that holds the pin in place and I'm gonna pull each pin out one at a time. I've had a few of these, by the way. <laughs> so, you know, work, work with me here. Had a few Americas. For a few Americas, okay. Remember how it's oriented, okay? The yellow and the orange are directly next to each other because it's a four-prong clip. So. so yeah, just use a brand new one. Yeah. We did pull this back piece up right here. Yeah. Just to and free the wires so it's not clamping down on them. And remember the orientation. So orange, yellow, empty space, and then black. Right. All right, so we got all the wiring off of the harness there. So at this point, we're just going to pull this cap up. Here we go. It should come right out. You see the wires there. Okay. And oh, Bob's your uncle. That's it. And then you slide the new one in, and, and it'll be mad sexiness. All right, so this is the new one. These wires, slide them through that hole. Uh uh uh. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. For right. arson. Very arson. Arson. Oh yeah. Wow. And then we're gonna leave it like that for now. Okay. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're down with these plugs again. A little harness piece right now. Right now. So black, yellow, orange. And I remember they went in this way. Okay. Yeah, so orange, yellow, space, black. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Boom. Where the click? Yeah. Skip a spot and yeah. then the yellow. So that we can do it. Boom. Noise. I need the orange. There it is. Click. All three are in there. And then once it's in, when they're, once they're all in, uh, you're gonna come back here and then flip this bad mama jamma down. Boom. And now they're all locked in. Before we go and do anything up top, we're gonna plug it in and uh, make sure everything works properly. And uh, yeah. <laughs> 
the arson dude. That arson dude has got me nice right now. I mean, I know the video is old, but he's got me on that reveal on the sports shirt. Anyway, okay, ready for the click? Boom, click. Now we know it's up on up against the head here, but we're gonna check and see uh, if we got power and everything is nice up above. So it's clipped in. Let's see what happens. Boom. We got power, kiddos. All right. Let's pull down the wire a little bit. It's gonna be in and twist. Okay, so we pushed the gauge in into location, but what you gotta do is you gotta push it in and then twist it to lock it. So what you gotta do is you literally push down and it's like, it unlocks it right there, boom. And you can pull out the gauge. And then what you wanna do, twist the housing, boom, into the spot there. Once you get the housing, the general housing in there and you can feel out to where it's, it's nice and flush all the way around, you're gonna clock this to where it's flush all the way around. So basically you wanna you want yeah. the bevel around the outside to line up with the curvature of the tank. Once yes. you've got that lined up, you're gonna align the actual gauge that pops up in the center, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna line it back up and you press it downwards, and it's going to click and lock into place. So you guys notice there is an O-ring on the outside of it? Yes. And boom, that's it, it's locked into place. So at that point, it's installed. You're just gonna wipe, wanna wipe it down with like a rag, get rid of the smudges. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> ah, good. yes. He needs gas. I need gas. All right. So at this point, we undid the bolts at the tank oh, just so are. we can lift it up and down because we're trying to get the wire, the harness that we just like undid, and relatch it. Okay, that's it. So if you can see right here, this wire goes and hooks right there. It's just a little hook, and all it does is it's supposed to keep the wiring off of the top of the head. You don't want to melt the wires to the head, obviously. But okay, there you go. All right, bow diggity. In order to get to the the wiring clip that holds the gauge wire, what we did to help us out was to um, undo the front of the fuel tank and lift, actually lift the tank up so we could get to the little hook to hook the wire in place. Once we hook the wire back on, I was just pretty much putting this bolt back in place. It's half inch on both sides as far as the low rest. It should be the same with most dinos. Yeah, I believe it. I believe most dinos is the same. Don't scratch anything. We're professionals, so we don't put anything on the tank. <laughs> I'm lying. I'm not a professional. Yeah, Two pretty, ratchets. Pretty professional. I'm ratchet, bro. <laughs> Boom. Sexy. Done. Here, watch this. Watch how easy this is. Boom. Nice the gas side. You push down and lock. And then we have a trim ring we gotta put put on there. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this bad man pajama and clock it till it fit fit our sits flush. Uh, let's see. It's got a tab on one side. Yeah, we got the tab here. You'll see what we're gonna do here in a minute. Cause it's not quite round since it's on an angled surface. Like I think it goes straight way. up. I think this tab's supposed to be straight up. Feel it, fill it up. Yeah, definitely. Oh, for sure. All right, so I'm gonna try this out. I don't know how well it's gonna work. I kind of did it on mine. You trust me? No. No? Yes. It looks hard. I wouldn't would be working on my bike if I didn't. Mm -hmm. But ever so carefully, and we'll come back. And now we can come back. I'm not too worried about that part. Okay. This part we can. Now that we have this right here, this line, and this line, now we can pull off the tape here. We're gonna wipe everything off because we don't need any type of fingerprints or any oils. Look at that school, it says Dyna right there. How sexy is that? <laughs> On the other side. Oh, sexy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fucking, dude, I'm stuck with that. All I do, oh, yeah. yeah. All yeah. I do, person, yeah. person. So now, we're gonna take this bad member jump off. Okay, and this is where 
the boys become men. You trust me, Blockhead? Yeah, dog. I mean, just set it gently at first, and then look at it, and then after it's set, press it down hard. Mmm. Tear some tape off. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm. Oh, yeah. There you go. Super clean. That's the last time I do that. I did it twice. I'll never do it again. Yeah, I kind of wish that gauge you know, was amber to match this. I know, right? Still looks good, though. Yeah. The amber would totally f set it off. Nice. Mm. Oh, yeah. Good game, sir. Woo! I mean, if you want, hey, hey, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Alright, that's see you guys install some uh, flush mount gas gauge and gas cap on a Harley. Yes. Link to the parts in the description below, down there. You guys have any questions, ask him. Hey, I'm just a dude in a garage, okay? Just like all of y'all out there. Bam, <laughs> Hot Wheels and Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. All right. Links to stuff in the description below. If you guys have any questions, post them up. We'll answer them to the best of our abilities. If you guys enjoyed the episode, be sure to hit the like button. And uh, until next time, you guys ride safe out there. Stay vigilant. Keep it in the pants. Keep it in the pants. Catch y'all later. Deuces. <laughs>